So uh, we now encounter the following system. We, the, the, yesterday afternoon, we prayed a little bit that uh, semi-finite von Neumann algebra equipped with a real line action and a trace such that uh, equal to e minus uh, tau. Now, I want to play with this system for, for a while the, without uh, for normal algebra, uh, 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 type three, anything like that. And uh, just write M to be the fixed point. X in N such that the, the S of X is X or S. Now, take a projection in N such that tau of E is finite. Finite projection is abundant because tau is semi-finite normal trace. Okay. And then we saw, OK, the fixed T. Fix. Then what happened is, say the T of E tau is E minus T tau E. So E minus T is less than one, oh, one positive. And we observe that the T of E, say the T to the N of E, that is less than equal to summation of a trace of C dot to the N of uh, K of E. K runs from 0 to infinity, which is summation of e to the minus kt. K runs from 0 to infinity times tau of e, which is 1 over 1 minus e minus t tau of e finite. Important fact is finite that we have seen. Now, we do uh, 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 consider this to be set, uh, well, uh, I call it F. And uh, theta t of F, the tau, was e minus t tau of F strictly less than tau f. And so what happened is f theta t f theta t square f. That's uh, the decreasing sequence of projections. And uh, if you do that n times, that will be, oh, excuse me, minus n. So uh, uh, minus n t, which goes down to 0. So uh, this goes down to 0. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, you, need, you need to get it by partial isometry. If it's not no, 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 nothing, nothing. There's uh, no partial isometry no, involved right said, this moment. You only said that tau is smaller than tau. Uh, the tau no, of no, no. this. Below the last line, below the line. And below, uh, this one is the last line. Last line, below that line. You have said tau of one projection yeah. is smaller than tau of another projection. Tau of theta d to the n f is less than tau of f. Well, uh, 
Yes, the, the, what I'm uh, trying to secure is when, okay, this projection, what is this? If you uh, apply theta to e, theta t, e, theta to the n to the e, then this begins by e, theta t of e, theta t square of e, so, if you compare this projection and uh, uh, that projection, you observe that one term missing. Yeah. So this one is uh, strictly smaller. And, oh, no, no, not strictly smaller. Less, uh, uh, certainly uh, majorized by this projection. However, uh, evaluating by trace, this is, uh, minus e times t times trace of this one. So strictly smaller now. So that means that f0, which is f minus theta t f. The, OK, the, what's happening is exactly the kind of onion. Right, this onion ring going down, and you are taking F0, F, C dot T, F0, all perpendicular. So F0 perpendicular to, and that go, go, goes on, and it's also the same. With, now we can apply inverse of F0 is again perpendicular to F0 because everything is shift to the one step to the left. And so you can consider C dot to the N F0. Now this is a, a, a ST, I write it is uh, now it does not move by theta, so projection in the eight. Okay? And important fact is this FT, F0 majorize, okay, if you look at uh, the whole story, this E. This E is underneath the, uh, the, the or if you sum them up, okay, or those. So this evangelizes E. Okay, so uh, you can repeat this procedure to the orthogonal complement of this one. And uh, you pick up any projection underneath which has a trace value finite, that the semi-finiteness comes into play. The, the trace has the property that uh, any projection dominate uh, projection whose trace value is finite. That's a semi-finiteness. So that means that uh, you can use the exhaustion argument uh, for this one. In other words, Okay, you choose, say, <laughs> the, if you want to go the quick, then the Zoron's lemma that choose maximum family such that the those are orthogonal and they sum them up. So you have, the, so you do have the pro, pro projection, uh, wandering projection of uh, such a, those properties are called wandering pro, property or the projection is wandering under theta t. Wonder why? All the, to, to the orthogonal complement. So it is called wandering projection. It wanders around. And then what happens is we do have a finite, uh, 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 then the, you make it the, the maximum one. So the uh, projection, uh, finite projection tau v uh, 
well, let's see. Well, we don't need it, that one, that anyway. <laughs> what we need is a find, you can find the exist E such that, uh, such that theta to M of E to perpendicular to the e, N and M distinct, wandering around, and if you sum them up, the odd equal to one. That is the, you can do that by exhaustion argument, repeat it over and over again until you exhaust the whole thing. Now, you say Fn to be, if I okay from minus n n, theta to the power n, okay, of e. Okay, and then we know this Fn converges to one. That's, and goes, that is what uh, the summation means. All right. Now, I apply this integration along the uh, theta integral over real theta s theta t to the k of e uh, K, uh, absolute value less than N of DS. Okay. Uh, now, uh, this I want to uh, break up. Uh, let's see. So uh, we are now uh, summing K less than N of uh, 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 theta T over K over the integral over R theta S of E dS. Okay. And uh, I want to break this up to the following. K less than equal to N. Summation M runs in the integer minus uh, uh, M plus K, oh no, uh, from M T to m plus 1t theta s of e ds. Right? That's an integral by the uh, mt to m plus 1t by interval. And, uh, I uh, do a splitting the interval, uh, the integral, whole real line to the interval by interval. Then see what happens. Let's see. So, so this is then, instead of writing this way, you, uh, oh. Instead of writing this way, I can do the following. zero to t, and uh, s replace this by theta t plus s. Oh, excuse me, mt plus s, mt plus s. That's the same, right? And then I d uh, bring this, oh, here he theta t to the k is sitting. So I take this to the out, outside, so mm, 
n theta to the k uh, k of summation theta to the t to the m m runs over the integer times theta s of e ds 0 to t like that. But what I want, I'm going to do is uh, replace, uh, bring all the whole things to commute. So uh, bring this summation to the inside. OK. Uh, one thing I want to make sure is we are dealing with all positive uh, affair, positive numbers, or actually positive projection here. If you apply to the uh, vector, and if you look at uh, in the vector xi and xi, that's uh, what's involved in all the positive numbers when you have xi, xi. So the summation order, integration order doesn't matter. You can ch uh, change the order a bit freely. So uh, the I put this integral sign to the outside 0 to t and the theta s to the outside. However, we retain this one here. Then what happened? This is uh, the summation as this was STE, uh, the summation or the identity. So, Oh, this become one, and then you are summing up this. So this one, you are integrating zero to t, constant function uh, one, how many times? Two n plus one uh, times identity ds. That's two n plus one times t, scalar. That's what we have if you do the i theta. So important fact is this, therefore, this is 2n plus 1t, which is a finite value, 2n plus 1. So you can integrate that projection as fn. And you have, actually, for this speci very special arrangement, you have uh, this number. So in other words, this Fn projection belongs to the definition domain of integration along the theta. So this Fn, and that means Fn, N, Fn, or Mi theta. And uh, all union of them of natural number is inside. And now remember, Fn goes up to the identity. So that union on the far left, which is similarly dense star subalgebra of n. OK. So I theta is semi-finite. This operator value the weight. It's semi-finite. As being integration, it is normal. OK. So you have plenty uh, domain for the integration. Oh, you can also define n 
uh, a theta which is x in n such that i theta of x star x belongs to n finite values. So those are the just like in the weight. Now, so far, we uh, use very little knowledge about the uh, action of theta and, uh, well, fixed point, anything. But now, what happens if you take phi in this setting, faithful semi-finite normal weight on the fixed point. Now I choose the theta phi, okay? And the general theory of uh, operator valued weight and the, uh, the weight says phi circle, uh, oh, okay. Indeed, this Fn, this, uh, this means that if you have A in M, say, plus, and uh, Fn uh, A, I theta, what happened is A to N identity, right? So if you divide by 2n plus 1, that means that uh, the range uh, i theta of m theta positive portion is exactly m prime positive portion. So you have plenty many elements to be sent to the definition domain of phi. So, which is very nice. Uh, so, this phi circle i theta is, has a, a many element which takes finite value, semi-finite, because of this property. And then what uh, we are going to do is then, uh, uh, or call it phi hat. Okay, B by very definition, phi hat theta s equal to phi hat. Okay, now, I want to see the con cycle derivative of phi against the trace, what's going to happen? Trace being a trace, uh, con cycle derivative is one parameter unitary group, right? One parameter unitary group because set, set, sigma tau is identity. So cocycle means just the unitary. Uh, one per unitary group. So, let's examine what's happened, what's happening. So, d phi hat d tau t tau. And I want to translate by theta s. Okay, this is taking place in n, okay? This game is, uh, I'm playing game on n, not on n. So, this theta s is automorphism of n. We know that uh, yesterday that we had, this is a t hat, theta s, inverse 
li tau say that uh, s inverse and a variation of t that we have we learned from Professor uh, 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 Stratila. Okay, we know what happens to this. We know this nothing happens that we know. And uh, we know that this, uh, we know the trace is scaled, uh, scaled down by theta s, by E s. But here's the inverse, so this is a scale up d tau to t. OK, it is general fact. Lambda phi, uh, phi d mu psi of t equal to lambda i t d phi d psi mu minus i t. When you multiply by positive scalars. So, so what you have is instead uh, uh, equal to e to the minus i s t d phi hat d tau t. Oh. So if you write this u of t, one parameter unitary group, then what you have is this behaves exactly what you want. If you write this to be ut to be h sub phi to the power i t, then this is equal to e to the minus i s t, h to the i t, e to the mi uh, minus s h, uh, minus s h i to the power i t. And uh, also, uh, those, uh, this tells you that modular automorphism of uh, sigma phi t is uh, given by i h. Uh, that's, uh, you have to ex uh, examine this uh, theorem of, of operator value, the weight, and, and uh, a, mod a modular condition. He kept saying KMS. This stands for the Kubo physicist, Kubo Martin, and uh, Schwinger. Schwinger's last time, uh, the, the, uh, the two other last career, he was at UCLA. Kubo was the uh, physicist in, uh, at the, in uh, Tokyo University. And, uh, but uh, I call it this condition, this modular condition. Well, either one is fine. But uh, here's a warning. The physicist not, uh, KMS condition runs time uh, backward compared to ours. So the uh, relative to minus t. That, uh, because they tend to use inner product reversed way, that uh, uh, anti-regular on the first component, uh, the linear on the second component. So uh, for us, f star f is, uh, uh, s star s is the natural things to do, but for them, s, s star is more natural things to do, so that uh, uh, the uh, time runs, uh, the price a mathematician has to pay, or physics to run the time, mathematical time runs backward compared to the physics. Okay, so, and, here is the characterization of the 
their system indeed tells you that as soon as you have this, then uh, original system, it, uh, this is uh, called Takesaki land start. I think we included in the flow of weight that which stays the form, characterize the dual uh, uh, system that the N R theta is conjugate to the uh, M cross that's add U T districted M over R uh, and uh, real line, but it is a dual rack. Uh, R hat equal to R and uh, add U of T uh, restrict uh, and that dual of that. This is the, the character. This is the characterization by okay, and the land start. So if you have trace scaling in one parameter automorphism system, that system automatically uh, cross product of uh, fixed point. Uh, relative to the action given by UT. Okay, so the, tra the so you see the very special feature of a scale trace scaling automorphism system. Okay, now another thing is the following. Well, uh, this was unfortunately the, the hardest theorem uh, we, uh, we proved in a joint work, a joint paper, is the uh, relative concomitant theorem, which states the following. Let me state the theorem. Says, oh, we fixed, uh, we are still in the uh, previous setting, okay? The n, r, theta, and tau. Then m is a fixed point. Relative commutant of m inside n is the center of n. Okay, so oh, I ha we have to swallow this uh, big ch chunk of a statement. Um, uh, this requires maybe five lectures uh, if we prove. Okay, so uh, assume this then tells you the significance of this system. Okay, the, when you are, uh, uh, also now, when, what is it? Uh, this tells you immediately the center of M, center of M is subalgebra of center of N. Okay? Center of M is contained in the center of N. What that mean? Abelian algebra, the center, inside this uh, big center C of N, and the N acting on the, uh, the no, theta acting on that. Now, on this center of M, theta doesn't act. 
okay, over C, over the C, M. M is already a fixed point, no way to act on the center of M. So what happening is you have the spectrum X, uh, L infinity of X equal to C of M. The whole thing is uh, uh, like that, the whole thing taking place like this. That is the picture for in the general case. And then uh, the, it is natural to con uh, uh, concentrate on that e uh, one of those at a time. And then put them together, which is a rather trivial thing to do because there's no relation among uh, uh, this point to that point. The theta does not act on the center. So, that means we, are, we should consider the case that this is the scalar. Center of M is a scalar, namely the, when scalar M is a factor. That's the uh, 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 basic uh, constituent. And, and then general case in the put them together. Well, direct sum, or the continuous direct sum, or the, that's called the continuous the direct integral of the, the, the each system. So, so now we assume that the C of n equal to C. What is this one? This means that C of m is exactly C of n theta. Right, that uh, is the fixed point is a subarray from M. The commuting with everybody is so, and we are assuming this is a scalar. Means automatically, uh, it's C of N and uh, action. That's a commutative uh, system. It's, uh, people call it a flow. And uh, fixed point being a scalar means that flow is ergodic. At the same time, thanks to the commutative real line, that uh, flow is free, action is free. Because real lines, the commutative S plus T equal T plus S. So uh, we are, uh, so this is now ergodic uh, system. And indeed it has a name. This is flow of weight. On M. All right. So the, we have uh, center C, and now when you have M, uh, which is N theta contained in N, when you have a subfactor, it's now uh, this is a factor. N need not to be a factor. Yes? Uh, how is C M equal to C? And theta, if you just assume that the fixed point has trivial center. No, no, theta, okay. What is C, uh, Cn theta equal to x in n and n prime, that's the center of n, and the theta s of x equal to x or s in uh, real. Right? That's the... Uh, now, what this uh, mean? This mean this is uh, x is in n alpha, f uh, no, theta, fixed point under theta, which we uh, write in m, which is in m. 
So the, the pointing M is fixed under theta. And the commuting with everybody. So this means that this is the center of M. OK? So the, we assume the center of M is now scalar. Uh, is a factor because that the whole system is decomposed into the, uh, the continuous sum of the subsystem. You, have, uh, you, you don't see uh, this, uh, uh, you're not convinced that the set no, of fixed point no, is, that is fine, yeah. okay. And then uh, what happened is, whenever sub, uh, von Neumann subalgebras, very natural things to do is the following. Either look at automorphism, which uh, fix the uh, uh, M pointwise, or the, those uh, fix the, uh, the, uh, the unitary normalizer. U in U of N such that U M U star equal to M. It's called the normalizer. And uh, we call it extended unitary group M, okay? It is, uh, uh, you don't need to extend the entire group of N, but uh, need M. Okay. Now, what is the consequence of the, this uh, relative commutant theorem? Okay, you, I take boundary operation this way, although the reversed way, u theta t u star is no, no, no novel convention, but the theta t is a dual system, uh, the n is dual system, so uh, to carry out things naturally, uh, this is the boundary operation, u of, of, of u of m, u of n. Okay, and this is uh, actually the co-cycle. This satisfies co-cycle, well, actually co-boundary, okay. It is called co-boundary. Now, where this co-boundary locate if you are in the extended unitary, okay? Let's look at U star. Say that of u, x from m, and a little calculation. U star, say that t, x hop in here, right? Because uh, say that t does not act on x, so it's hop in. And then what happened? U star. Theta t, uh, theta t, u, x, u star, u. Now, uh, the u star u is a one, right? So no, nothing happening. However, what happens? This u x u star is a member of M. Say that he does not act. So this hops out. U star. U X U star. And theta T of U. 
and then untangled the, this product associativity. U star U is one. So this all, all together it becomes it's one so x u star theta t of u. Now u star theta t of u commute with everybody in M. That's what happened if you, you, you normalize this M. So this then belongs to center of N. Well, of course, this is a unitary of C. Being a covandary, it is a, a co-cycle, obviously, in the center value of the co-cycle. So this theta u is z1 relative to theta of our value is in c. Of course, it is a covandary in n, or u of n, but not necessary in the u of c. OK, and if u is taken, if you have uh, u in the u of c, then there's a c of u is called the co-boundary, p1 theta of real line and the u of c. If you take chalk, if it happens that uh, it is uh, the covander within this uh, commutative algebra. So, and the uh, Z1 <coughs> theta divided by V1 theta, you know what the name. That is the uh, first cohomology group of the flow. So this is the H1 theta of real line of, uh, with the coefficient in C. So the uh, cohomology theory of, of flow the, the, the start coming in. Okay. Now. Yes, we have still plenty of time to explore more leisurely. So let me see. So you have U tilde of M uh, sitting there. Uh, of course, in here, U of M, a unitary group of M is sitting here. And let's say in a factor, torus, scalar, goes in. And uh, yes, and then uh, here you have that covalent operation. If it uh, any unitary in M covalent, this unchanged the U star U equal to one. So the covalent is the kernel. Is to, torus the circle, 
and uh, uh, then uh, okay, let me see. And this goes into <coughs> kernel. Right, wait a minute. Let me make sure uh, if I'm not. goes into the, okay, uh, there's uh, something different that's uh, I'm twisted around. Okay. Torus of uh, the unitary group, this one goes to the B, the, the co-boundary, B theta one, and it goes to one, right? This is by definition. Okay, and uh, the kernel of this is the scalar because this theta act on C ergodically. Ergodicity is this. Now you have unitary of M. And if you have the same covalent operation, then this is rounded over all the said co cycle. Okay, why this is so is the following. Okay, if you have, oh, I think I have already told you that the stability of theta. If you have trace scaling one parameter automorphism, then you have a plenty many copies of LR with a translation setting. For instance, there are the HP to the power IT uh, and uh, with this theta is just like conjugate to the uh, real line, L infinity over line, with translation, that's so the plenty many of them is sitting there. So that so that means you can apply the Shapiro's. You can build the Shapiro's system whenever you have a cocycle given, so that it become co-boundary within n, not over the subalgebra such as the center or the m, but in bigger bigger algebra n. Shapiro system is uh, always waiting for you to be used. So it is always the co-boundary. So therefore, this map is uh, the surjective. And its corner is, of course, a fixed point under theta. Is, is, uh, we assume M to be a factor. If you mod out by the T, that become in automorphism. Okay. Now, okay, this is simply the inclusion. This is inclusion. Inclu uh, the quotient map B1 theta dividing by this one, this H H1 theta of R in uh, U of C. Now this one go the adjoint restriction that's called C and T sub R of M and it goes into this and this is surjection uh, the R D U. Okay, restriction to the center, uh, the fixed point, and this equal to one 
1 and goes to 1. So this diagram, a square of diagram commute. OK. And uh, this square, and uh, on this square, what's happening is original group of automorphism M and flow, theta. OK, this is the uh, extension. Act on this uh, square, commutative sphere, square of uh, exact sequences. Three term or four, five term exact sequences. Well, usually I you view it as a three term exact sequence. OK, this gives you cohomological invariant. Uh, associated with M, that's the uh, well, how it goes. Oh, or if you have okay, this is a, uh, the equivariant cycle. So if you choose uh, element here, uh, the element is uh, it's called. Maybe I don't know. May, uh, well, I will move. Uh, uh, no, no. Uh, if this, I, I start talking about that, maybe maybe uh, too much derailing from the course. Uh, uh, if we have extra time at the end, maybe I will come back to the to the this square. But so, but this is important invariant. This is the name is characteristic square. This was introduced by Katayama, uh, Katayama, Sutherland, and myself. OK. Now, this is algebraic invariant for factor of M, the name of the fixed point of under theta. Now, now we started out of N. But uh, what happens if you start from M? No N yet to be constructed. Now, question is, do you want to uh, ha uh, have uh, this N being constructed as a cross <coughs> product by fixing Phase for a semi finite normal weight. Okay. Now, uh, the question arises right away if you go one step further, when suppose you are studying group of automorphisms, and that automorphism uh, group of automorphisms did not fixed uh, weight. And uh, so that means that the construction, the, well, of course, with this corner uh, derivative, et cetera, has a way to control the, uh, the how to uh, lift the automotive group over N, this core, but still cumbersome. OK, At, now, so you want to have uh, the way construct N, or I would like to call it M tilde, sitting over M, and R, and uh, theta, and tau. Canonical reconstruction without uh, uh, specifying weight. Okay, to do that, uh, of course, cycle 
plays a dominant uh, role, very important. Okay, what do we want to do? No, uh, what do we should do? Okay, so it's... Uh, Okay, let uh, give me, uh, say, three minutes rest and clean the blackboard. But I said that uh, we don't want to fix any weight. What to do? It doesn't mean we don't consider weight. What it means, uh, instead of fixing a single weight, consider all of them. Okay, that's so you consider W0 of M. Uh, this is the set of faithful semi-finite normal weight, okay, there's all of them. And consider the product space. And fix T. Okay, if you consider all of those, of course this space is a, a much too large. You want to make it smaller. So what do you do is, after fixing T, X and P to Y Psi, def by definition, this will be x times d phi d psi sub t equal to y. Okay, you introduce the relation between x phi and y psi by this relation. Okay, and thanks to the chain rule, we have already used many times. Chain rule implies this relation is equivalence relation. Equivalence relation in this space. Okay, so you mod out by some, uh, by this relation sub t. Don't forget we are fixing t, okay? And uh, call it, this space is m of circle t. Recall t is there. And write class of x phi to be a relative to this t, x times p to the power i t. Okay, so if as soon as you fix uh, phi, you have mapping from x in m to x to the power i t. This is a bijection. This is a bijection. Okay, this is a bijection. And, uh, and this is the, uh, so this is a set of, uh, uh, this is a bijection. to the set of M of T, uh, okay. Now, the lemma is, 
you send a you by phi uh, to m to m of t and back by another psi. Okay, what this means? This is from x to m goes to x v i t coming back to by psi x times sigma phi sigma psi sub t. And oh, okay, under this map is continuous. Okay, now we are now we we can consider that the uh, uh, m cross the line to uh, the disjoint union of m of t. This is uh, fiber space. Or if you want, if that's f of m, sit over the real line. And each fiber, each fiber, this MT, you transplant the Banach space structure onto M of T. So norm equal to norm of X, lambda X V I T plus mu y phi i t equal to lambda x plus mu y phi of i t. And uh, because of this map in this stress one, uh, the linear structure was well preserved. Linear structure well preserved under this one. And the, uh, so now uh, this mapping, so the uh, pi phi, uh, phi psi inverse phi phi is uh, now map from Cartesian product to M cross R. This is a bijection. This is a bijection. And uh, furthermore, this mapping on the bounded set of M of T, which is, is uh, sigma star strongly continuous on the bounded set of M. Of M. Bounded set of, of Okay, remember, you have norm. If you take a norm here, the, this is uh, unitary, so this is unchanged. So uh, the bounded set uh, is, uh, does not depend on the choice of P. Okay, because of the norm is the, it's not involved the phi. So uh, you can topologize uh, this fiber space, transplanting. Uh, another maybe it's good thing is that this is a bicontinuous relative to not single wick topology, no. That's Mark, RN's Marky topology that is a uniform, it is uniform convergence topology on the, the weak, uh, weak star con, uh, compact subset of a predial. Okay, a weak star compact subset of a predial. You consider the uniform convergence on that set. That is the uh, 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 name of the RN's Mackey topology. And uh, that is uh, relative to this one times real line, 
this mapping become uh, uh, homeomorphism. So the topology, you can transplant the tau topology, tau, uh, this orange market topology, uh, times real line topology onto F. Okay, so F become topological space and the fiber is a vector space, uh, Banach space. Each fiber is indeed dual Banach space. We don't consider as an algebra, okay, it's a dual Banach space. Okay. And now, why I needed this topology on and the fiber space is the, because we want to consider the integration or the function cross section. I do not want to ch use the uh, what you call it the uh, zero uh, mirrors uh, the axiom of choice. If you do that, uh, no further mathematics. Uh, you have no control of such things. So we want to have nice Borrero function or the continuous function. So, so, you, if, so this now real line to x of t in f such that the x of t takes value in m of t. Okay, so the, and the continuous. Continuity makes sense now, that cross section, that because it's a topological space. Range is now topological space. Now, okay, now I want to have the binary operation among the, the, the different fibers. So from M of S times M of T, so here x p i t and the y psi. Uh, oh, I, well, I will equip it simple with the psi i t. And the product by the, we define this to be what x times. Uh, this will be s. What the first time. S is a uh, S and T are uh, not real number. So M of S and M of T. Below M of S. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I want to move this to the one. So sigma t, uh, S of phi of Y times phi to the pi I S plus T. So ranging to the M of S plus T. So you have binary operation. And this operation is associative whenever product is in successive product makes sense. So this is associative product um, among fibers. Now, so this F has a, uh, the five of uh, the, uh, the bundle of, 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 of the fiber MMT, which has the binary operation from fiber times fiber. And it moves very nicely. And well, this was uh, such a thing this is a special case. If uh, it's special case of a Michael Fell, the bundle of oh, B and D, fiber uh, Michael uh, Fell bundle. He has a uh, uh, few pages, uh, no, two or three hundred pages uh, thick lecture note exploring. Banach, uh, calling Banach algebra bundle. So he, for his 
it's more uh, now he demand um, uh, well because he did not consider normal algebra band loaded so he considered that the, uh, the Banach algebra uh, and uh, well you have the construction of Banach algebra out of this uh, this type of structure and uh, he was motivated to uh, smooth treatment of a market induced uh, representations. That's what it is going to be. And so now we consider the gamma 1 of the other line with value in f, the f of m, of course. That is the uh, s from r to x of s in f. Uh, taking value in M of S in F. Okay, it's not random, but X, it's a Borel measurable, measurable Borel. And so X of S, the norm become what? Uh, the uh, lower continuous, okay? Uh, relative to tau topology, the norm is a sup of uh, the inner product, etc. right? So it is uh, indeed uh, lower semi-continuous fair. So this is a Borel function over the L ds is finite. So this is the set of all of those. Oh, excuse me. We need a star. X and uh, XPIT star equal to sigma minus t phi of x star of phi minus i t. So star operation brings m of t to m of minus t. That's involution. OK. And uh, you will see that the, now the, uh, the product become very simple, x, y, X and Y are the cross section, integrable cross section, and then X, Y of S is integral over real, oh, maybe I write it T, is X of S, Y of S minus, uh, uh, T minus S, minus S dS. Remember now, where this set, X, S, setting m of s, y t minus s setting m of t minus s, binary operation brings you the s plus t minus s equal to t. So this was taking place within m of t, this integral taking place within t. So this is the element in m of t. So you have new and the x star of t is x of minus t star. Very natural things to do. And we have, and therefore, so L1, come, this cross section algebra is star algebra. Well, Banach star algebra. And the norm is this one. Yeah, this is norm. One norm. One norm. So you come to the, uh, so we call it, it's a modular cross-section uh, algebra. Uh, alge algebra of cross-section. Okay, so this, uh, now, we are very close to the weight-independent object. Suddenly, the, this L1 gamma, uh, no, the gamma 1 uh, F does not depend on the choice of a phi. Uh, now, we need the Hilbert space 
to make it to, to have for normal algebra that we close. To do that, you have to have ability to glue uh, the M of T and the Hilbert space has to be glued so that the element M of T can act on the Hilbert space. To do that, we need a special derivative. So I think it, uh, today uh, the, we need a new chapter on the bundle of Hilbert space now. Uh, we had bundle of algebra, well, not algebra, but uh, this uh, bundle starting from algebra. But now we need bundle starting from Hilbert space on which M acts, so acting. So the, we have to do make, the, the, make Hilbert space similar way using spatial derivative. Now so that well, this becomes spatial theory. Okay, so today is about it. Yeah. <laughs> Any question? Yeah. You, you have been wanting to use the symbol. This phi to the it is just a symbol. Right? Yeah, it is a symbol. Uh, but it is now. It is now you have uh, phi to the i t, phi to the i s, now phi to the i s plus t, according to that rule. So if you take one, one, so it is one problem. At the same time, if you use a topology, then this mapping, this phi to the S to phi S is continuous in F. If you make a topology, use the topology installed in F, then it is now continuous map. 